Greetings, gentle viewers. This is George of Ireland. Um, in this video, I shall explain why there is no emergency at the United States border, um, <clears throat> despite President Trump's protestations to the contrary. Well, Donald J. Trump <clears throat> has wished to construct a uh, wall along the US-Mexico border. He's been um, demanding that since uh, before he was elected president. And you may remember he assured that uh, the faithful that a construction would commence on day one of a pres pre Trump presidency. We are now approximately day 700 of his presidency <clears throat> and not one brick has been laid and not one cent has been allocated to it. And likewise, Mexico has vowed they shall never pay a peso towards it. Why on earth should they? It's not like the United States is obliged to pay for something that's built in Mexico. Um, so there is no emergency. This is drivel. Trump only hit upon that idea about a week ago. He just um, dreamt up that complete uh, twaddle. Uh, and it's nonsense. Here we are, 21 days into a government shutdown. Um, why not declare a national emergency immediately, as soon as a shutdown happened, <clears throat> if you need to fund the wall that badly? Or actually, if it was so vital, why not on day one of the presidency, if it was so important? So clearly not so important. An emergency is urgent. It needs to be dealt with now, because it's getting worse by the minute. Um, and then he says he'll probably declare it. Probably? Well, it can't be an emergency, it's probably. If it's an emergency, there's no room for doubt. You'd do it instantly. You'd be, you'd be certain about it, not wavering, and simply using it as a negotiating tactic. This is the stick with which to beat Nancy Pelosi, Jack Schumer, and others. The wall is crucial to national security, we're told. Remember, the Democrats offered him billions of dollars to spend on Border Patrol agents, and he said no. So he could have improved border security three weeks ago, but he decided not to, because he's playing chicken with them. It's all about machismo. It's about his image. It's about his re-election campaign. It's simply to um, <coughs> appease these uh, far-right attack dogs like Ann Coulter and Sean Hannity. So they've, they, he's got to do this to prove he has balls. That's the idea. It's nothing to do with reason or even border security. Remember how separating children from parents was absolutely <coughs> imperative. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. And he just caved in on that one. So the thing is, he might do the same with the border wall or border fence. You see, there's been a gradual climb down. Mexico wasn't going to pay, was going to give a check. Then, well, they pay for it in some form, maybe through a trade deal, through a tax on Americans. That was going to be Mexico paying for it, according to Trump. Um, the wall, which became a fence and blah, blah, blah. And talking about it less and less, he's just revived it. But this recrudescence of the wall or the fence as an idea is partly because I suppose he thinks things are looking dismal on a number of fronts for him. Um, now, this uh, thing is, is, is so crucial to Trump. It's, it's an image. It's his iconic policy. The base forgave Trump when he gave up the child separation policy. They might not forgive him if he drops the wall. 77% of Republicans want to see it built. Well, you know, that's only about 30% of the population. A few Democrats do. There's already a fence over a large area of it. It's actually not his worst idea, um, this one. But, you know, is it the most cost-effective way to spend the money? I think not. Um, the trouble is the border is so mm, wiggly. I'm not sure what else I should say. It meanders so much. Makes it very, very long. Some people would, Americans would end up on the Mexican side of the wall. It disrupt the habitat of, habitat of animals. That would be a problem. I don't know how you'd purchase all the private land, state-owned land. So it's just really impractical. But if it were practical, it wouldn't be terrible. But, I mean, extending the fence building in certain sections, that might be a good idea. Building a smart wall with movement sensors and so on, that uh, would be a decent idea. Of course, I mean, illegal immigration is bad, shouldn't happen. They're not terrible people who do it. If I was an impoverished person in Mexico, I might illegally immigrate to the United States as well. And the great majority of them are not criminals, they just want to work. Um, <clears throat> and many of the people who are demanding this are white Americans whose ancestors came to America illegally centuries ago. They didn't secure permission from the uh, governments of the Native Americans to arrive. Um, but it also sets a dangerous precedent, this national emergency drivel. If he does this, then a Democratic president can say we're going to have a national emergency on health care because the lack of affordable health care is killing people every day, which is indubitably it is. So this abuse of the Constitution for nakedly partisan ends is, is reprehensible. Illegal immigration is down. I know last year it was up a little bit. Um, 
but uh, is down on five years ago. It's hugely down on 20 years ago. Nobody said it was an emergency back then. So it just proves that what um, arrant uh, twaddle this is. And as for heroin, 90% comes of it through legal ports of entry. Close the airports, therefore, that would be a more sensible move. Now, that'd be ridiculous because of all the repercussions it would have. Prioritizing security over everyone's liberty and just efficiency and convenience. No, that's not the American way. Well, I need financial support to keep this channel going. So if you wish to sustain this channel, kindly donate to me at PayPal. It's georgecallahan79 at gmail.com. That's all small letters. George Callahan. Um, one word. Callahan is spelled C-A-L-L-A-G-H-A-N. Thank you.